Hi guys, welcome to Multiverse. Uh, one question that often comes back is how can you get the Nightwing sticks? Technically the name is the Exobite infused Eskrima sticks, but pretty much everyone calls it the Nightwing sticks. If you if you talk to, to, to someone about the Nightwing sticks, uh, they'll know what you're talking about. They'll know that you're talking about uh, those, uh, those sticks over here that you can use if you're using uh, dual wielding as your weapon choice. I will show you two ways to be able to get that Nightwing Sticks. The first way, your character is going to have to use dual wield as a weapon. And it's something that you get as your character is, uh, is going up in level uh, during the leveling process. So it's something that you can get early in the game. And sadly, if you missed that opportunity, uh, the only other way that you can get that Nightwing Sticks is by playing a whole bunch of PvP. So the easy way would be to basically create a character uh, basically a character that's mentored by Batman or by the Joker level up those characters and around level 10 14 you should be able to play a mission that will allow you to get the the Eskrima sticks as a reward I will show you that mission right now so in order to be able to get the Nightwing sticks or also known as the Eskrima sticks you have to play the Cape Carnine Lighthouse mission but it's uh, you have to play the version where you your character is actually leveling up. There, there is a version where, that you can play from the on duty menu. That's not the version I'm talking about. I'm really talking about the version where when your Batman mentor character levels up, uh, there is a mission where you have to go fight the evil Bane in the Cape Carmine Lighthouse. That is when you can get the Eskrima sticks. So let's get started. So once you reach the fight to fight the evil Bane, that is where you will get the Eskrima stick as a choice uh, in your rewards. I'll, I'll show you, it'll make more sense. Someone must have tampered with Bane's venom. No doubt about it. We're looking at a full scale gang war. But who started it? The Joker? Two Face? Penguin? Hmm. For now, head to the safe house and speak to Batwoman. We'll keep you posted. So once we defeat the evil Bane, we have to go talk to our friend uh, Batwoman. So let's do that. So let's talk to our friend uh, Batwoman. You've survived Scarecrow and Bane. I can only imagine what Gotham will throw at you next. Good to have you on the team. So you can see there's a mission reward box that our friend, uh, that the mission will give us once we complete it. So let's do that. So let's go see our little uh, mission reward box. And the reward we get is the Eskrim mistakes. But in order to be able to get that reward, our character has to use dual wielding. So in order to be able to get that reward, you have to create a character that, that has dual wielding and you have to play the, the Bane mission as your character levels up. So we can see here, Exobite infused Eskrima sticks. So let's uh, select that. And now we have a character that uses the quote unquote Nightwing sticks. But again, in order to be able to get that, you have to create a character at character creation that uses the Eskrima Sticks. Or at least you have to use the Eskrima Sticks by the time you collect the reward from our friend Batwoman. So once you do, you will get the dual sticks, the, the, the Eskrima Sticks as a reward from our friend Batwoman. I know you get the mission to go fight the evil Bane as you level up if your mentor is Batman or if your mentor is Joker. I'm not sure if you get that mission if your mentor is Superman, like Sluthor. Wonder Woman or uh, Cersei. Um, I think you get it from one of those, uh, from a few of those mentors, but you don't get it from all the mentors, from what I recall. But uh, for certain, you get if you if your mentor is Batman or if your mentor is the Joker, you do get that mission. And the other way to be able to get the Eskrima Stakes, very simple. You have to play a whole bunch of PVPs and buy it from the PVP vendor. 
So if somehow you did not get the, the Nightwing stakes as you were leveling up your character, the other way you can get the stakes is from that little vendor over here. Basically this little vendor sells all the PvP weapons. So you can see here the, the stakes are also called the Contender stakes. They are PvP item level 100. Sadly, before you can purchase that weapon, you are going to have to purchase the complete, like you can see it's item level 100. Before you can purchase the, the gear item level 100, you have to purchase the complete item level 99 PvP gear. So you have to purchase the entire suit of armor uh, level 99, and you have to purchase a level uh, 99 weapon as well. And in order to be able to purchase the 99, the item level 99 uh, weapon and gear, you have to purchase the item item level 98 first. And before you can purchase the item level 98, you have to purchase the complete set of item level 97. So you have to purchase the complete, the, uh, complete set of gear and you have to purchase the weapon before you can purchase the item level 98 gear. And then you have to purchase the entire 98 level gear to purchase the 99 and then you have to purchase the entire 99 uh, level gear to be able to purchase the 100 uh, PvP gear. So in order to be able to get the PvP, the, the, the escrow mistakes from this vendor, you are going to have to purchase a whole bunch of PvP stuff and in order to be able to purchase all of that, you're going to have to play a lot of PvP. So purchasing the, the stakes here are an option but it requires a whole lot of grind before you can do that so i would strongly strongly suggest just create a character uh, at character creation that uses dual wield uh, create it with uh, batman as a mentor and then play that character until you you have you play the the main mission and it's going to be so much easier to get the the, the stakes as a reward from that mission as opposed to having to to play a whole bunch of PvP uh, with your character. And worst comes to worst, create a, an alternate character, get the, the, the stakes from playing the Bane mission, and then use replay badges to purchase the style uh, for any of your characters. So these are the two options to be able to get some nice uh, Nightwing Escrim mistakes. Although here you can see I'm using uh, the stealth material on the stakes. Uh, for some reason, the, the stakes are color locked uh, silver. So sadly, in order to be able to get, uh, if you want to have a different color, you're going to have to use a material in order to be able to get the color that you want. The easiest option would be to use the void the material. You can pretty much uh, change the color of the void material to any colors you like. Uh, sadly, the void material is uh, very hard to get and very expensive. So odds are you probably don't have the void material. One option would be to use the stealth material. But the stealth material is very expensive on the broker, uh, actually on the Quarks vendor. So the stealth material would be a perfect option for your Nightwing character, but it might be a little too expensive. Uh, some sort of bluish material could probably do the trick. Like right now here, what I'm using is the Blue Sparks material. So that could work for our friend uh, Nightwing, I suppose. So basically, if you don't want to have the the sticks uh, colored silver, color locked uh, silver, then one option would be to use a material to change to change the color of the sticks. But depending on the material you have, uh, you may have to settle with something that doesn't look exactly uh, right. But sadly, within the context of DC Universe Online, sometimes we do what we can with the styles we have. And of course, using the Nightwing stick would be perfect to use for another character. It would be perfect for our friend Daredevil. Here I'm using the negative speed force uh, material to be able to cover the stakes. But again, the, the void material would be a better option. I just I just don't have it with uh, with this character. Although I have to admit the negative speed force material does work really well to recreate a pretty darn good looking uh, Daredevil. Obviously I'm using the, the Deadman emblem. In the comics in the past, uh, Daredevil basically had like almost two shades of red on his costume. He had like a, a darker shades for the, the chest, the, the headpiece and the, the pants and stuff like the belt, the, the, the gloves and the boots had another shade of red. But here with the negative speed force or I, even better with the void, but uh, again, I don't have the void of this character. You can recreate a pretty darn good looking uh, Daredevil 
that has the, the two shades of red uh, the, that would be required for a good Daredevil character. Although personally I love the classic yellow version of the Daredevil costume, but nah, I think I'm, I'm pretty much alone uh, in my camp. But again, okay, so using the extreme sticks allows you to create a pretty awesome looking uh, Nightwing or an awesome looking uh, Daredevil. There might be other characters that use uh, scrim mistakes that I can think of. If you guys uh, can think of any, suggest, uh, suggest their names in the comment section down below. So basically these are the two ways to be able to get the Nightwing sticks. Uh, create a character that uses dual wield and uh, as your character levels up, once you play the Bane mission, uh, you should be able to get the scrim mistakes as a reward for that mission. Or play a whole bunch of PvP until you can purchase the weapon from the PvP vendor. So that's uh, pretty much it for now, guys. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask so in the comment section down below, and I'll see what I can do about answering your questions. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.